Hey everyone, um, Pink Hawk here. What's up everybody? Yeah, I'm wearing a mask because this is to show the coronavirus fear porn that is being spread so prevalently on social media. The news is blowing it out of context completely. Um, they're creating a mass hysteria amongst people. And what it is, is it's to make you believe that you are gonna get sick and then you shall succumb to the coronavirus and you will die. But let me tell you this, do not fall into this propaganda bullshit because I'm pretty sure George Orwell talked about this in his book and I'm pretty damn sure this is all the government doing. This is basically like 9-11 all over again. Remember what the government did with the Eiffel Towers? Uh, yeah, not Eiffel Towers. Twin Towers, exactly. I had someone say, oh, the Eiffel Tower got a plane crashed into it. I'm like, no, dumbass. That was in Paris. <laughs> we don't live in, yeah. That's a totally different country. The freaking Twin Towers in New York City. Do you remember 9-11? Who doesn't? You think those steel buildings just fell on their own? You think they just all immediately just imploded on themselves? No sillies government did that to create fear porn and to make us under the deception that terrorists are running prevalent and they're going to kill us. It's all fear mongering. What happened to ISIS anyways? It's funny you don't hear about them anymore, right? Anyways, back to this coronavirus. Don't buy into it. People are going crazy for no reason. What's toilet paper going to do you any good, you silly asses? Oh my god. If anything, you should be like the dudes that I saw this morning coming back from the airport that were lined up outside the gun store. If anything, you want to protect yourself and your loved ones. And protecting yourself means arming yourself. Yes, it does. And if you don't agree to the Second Amendment, the right to bear arms, then you should not be in the United States and you should not be considered an American. That's my opinion, of course. Back to that coronavirus bullshit. Uh, more people die from the flu every year than this coronavirus. More people die from doctor malpractice than this coronavirus. More people die from car accidents than the coronavirus. So don't let them fear you into thinking, oh God, we're all going to die. Let's go spend our last dollars and stay in our house and just bunker down and listen to everything the news outlet tells us. Most of it is bullshit and lies. And you know what? At the end of the day, what matters most to you? Your family? Your loved ones? I would hope so. I hope you're not a selfish person. Selfish person. Yes, you need to protect the ones you love. And at this time, with the way things are going, the economy is probably going to crash. And then when the economy crashes, we're going to go into a recession. And from there, more problems are going to arise and crazy stuff is going to arise. And before you know it, we're back to like old school ways. The Wild West is going to overcome I swear to God I was talking to a friend earlier about that how it's like why can't people come together and help one another instead everybody has this mentality like oh, me 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 I have to have everything right now and so people are very fearful and they're brainwashed easily and it's a bunch of BS so don't buy into it please don't buy into it because it is BS, okay? The coronavirus, yes, maybe real. Who knows? Do you know anyone that has it? Do you know anyone that knows someone that has it? Yeah, mm -mm, I don't. I've talked to many people. In fact, there was a lady in Italy, um, my friend was telling me, who lives in Europe, and this woman flipping, her husband died from a stroke, and they labeled it, he died from the coronavirus. It's very, very sad. Super duper sad. Oh my gosh, I saw. I hate black because of that. Anyways. 
what if the purge happens? Because think of it like this. All major cities, if you commit a petty misdemeanor, a crime, Philadelphia already announced, if you, you know, do a minor crime, whereas you're prostituting yourself, you're looting, you rob someone, you blow up someone's car, guess what? You're going to be given, like, a warrant 18 months from 18 months from now, so the time you commit the crime, 18 months later, you'll show up to court to pay for what you did. But guess what? How many real police and whatnot are going to fall into that and do that, actually? So a lot of people are going to be turning their eye. They're going to look the other way and be like, I didn't see that. I don't know what you're talking about. Yeah, people are going to turn to blind eye. Um, so you're going to see a lot more people shoplifting, looting, stealing stuff. Um, some of them may need stuff really bad, but other people are just going to be doing it just because they can. Yes, just because they can. You know? Swear to God. So it's like the purge. It's, it's, it's becoming that way. So please, watch yourself. Watch your family. Protect yourself. Arm yourself. Make sure you have everything you need. And it doesn't hurt to have a backpack filled with some essential things 